Hi everyone! It has been a minute since my last pin video and I wanted to take some time to come on here and share with you the pins that I inked and wrote dry for the month of July. Now I know I didn't do the month of June. Um, I, I was just, I've been working so much and by the time I get home at the end of the day, I have just been way too tired. But I'm feeling good today and I have some energy so I wanted to do this video. So I have my trusty notebook over here that I keep my currently, or not current, yeah, my, my inked pens list on. And I'm going to go through my list for the month of July. So... The very first pen that I inked for the month of July, um, this was, is my Nebulous Plume, which was the Ferris Wheel Press slash Esterbrook collaboration. I have it in a broad nib and I really, really like this pen. I've been using it nonstop. This right now i'm in the we're obviously in the month of august i am on my i'm on what number is that that's eight this is my ninth i'm currently on my ninth fill in this pen it has been filled non-stop since i got it i've been trying different colors of inks in it to see which ink color i like the best in it and i've tried all different colors and yep, so that was the first pen that I inked this month and I inked it with Ferris Wool Press Peppermint Drop. And I tried, I don't know if you can see like with the green there, um, there's a little green right there, but I was seeing if I could match, you know, with some of the green. Um, I liked it in here, but it is not this pen's forever ink, I don't think. So that was that pen and that ink. The next pen I inked up, which would be no surprise, was my Esterbrook Oktoberfest Camden. This is my, my daughter calls it my milk tea pen. I did an entire video on this pen. I love this pen. I love all of my Esther books, but I really love this pen. And I had it inked up with Ferris Wheel Press Pumpkin Patch. I actually like Pumpkin Patch in here better than I like Fuyugaki. So Pumpkin Patch has become the uh, forever ink for this pen. It's just, oh, I just, the, my Esterbrook pens just literally make me so happy when I write with them. The next pen I inked up was my Twisby Eco in Saffron. And I inked this pen up with Ferris Wheel Press Buttered Popcorn. It is, um, it's absolutely my favorite yellow ink to write with. Uh, my love of yellow ink actually started with a converter or a cartridge of ink that I got in a package of uh, fountain pens. It was just like this really cheap package of fountain pens from five and below. And there was this cartridge of yellow ink and it, um, it, you know, it was just this cheap cartridge of ink and I used it and I, it was at that moment that I fell in love with yellow ink. Um, and so after I used that cartridge up, I tried to find, look, you know, over all the different colors of yellow ink out there I could find. And Ferris Wheel Press Buttered Popcorn was the one that uh, matched the most. And so I am actually halfway through my bottle. But yeah, I have this Eco in a medium nib. And I really enjoy, this is my buttered popcorn. I actually just washed it out. This is my buttered popcorn pen. The next pen I used was my birthday gift for my 38th birthday, which has been many years now from my husband. We got this when we were in New Orleans. He got it for me at Papier Plume. 
it is a the Coveco Sport, the Coveco AL Sport in gold, and it has a medium nib on it. And I really like this pen. It's very special to me. And I inked it with J. Herban uh, Poissure de Lune, uh, otherwise known as Moon Dust. And um, I don't love this ink, but I don't hate it either. I think I kind of force myself to use it because I have it in my collection and I don't want it to just sit there and not be used. But um, I love it for a little while. Like when I start writing with it, I like it for a little while. And then after a little while more, I get bored of it. But that is what I used in my AL Sport. And I did write it dry. So the next pen I inked up was my Jin Hao 82 in Vintage Coffee. That's what I've lovingly decided to call this pen. It's a Franken pen. Um, I was kind of turned on to the, the, I've been wanting to try a Jin Hao 82 for a while since they came out and everyone went gaga for them. So I'm late to the bandwagon, but uh, I got the pen. I got a couple pens and then I Franken penned them and I gave uh, three of them out as gifts um, as uh, to people that I met in the store where I work at Anamoya, um, people who were interested in fountain pens, but they just really weren't ready to make their first fountain pen purchase. Then I left those pens at the store and if I kind of felt uh, the tug in my heart to gift them with a pen, then I did and they've all been gifted out. So I'm very happy about that. Um, I had this inked up with Pilot Uroshizuku Sukushi, and they make a really cute couple, I think. I really enjoyed this combination, and this is obviously an homage or a clone, depending on what your stance is to the Sailor Pro Gear Slim. I also do have a Sailor Pro Gear Slim to compare it to, and I, I actually did a, uh, a little challenge. Um, I blindfolded had this Jin Hao 82 and another Jin Hao 82 and my Sailor Brook Hair Slim. I mixed them kind of like all up and blindfolded I picked them up to write with and the only reason that I could tell which one was my Sailor Brook Hair Slim was because the nib was scratchier. The other two nibs, this one and my other Jin Hao 82 that I kept uh, were much smoother. So otherwise, they are, they feel the same. They have the same weight. Uh, they're excellent writers. And I love that you can take them apart and put them back together. I love that. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, so I really like this pen. And the next pen I inked up was my second Jin Hao 82. And so this is a Franken pen as well. And I actually franken penned it after a particular Sailor Pro Gear Slim that I have coveted, but I never pulled the trigger on because honestly, I just I just couldn't do it. Um, but I really liked the Sailor Mano Nuts, and uh, when that came out, I thought it was really really beautiful. Really wanted one, but the Sailor nibs, they're just um, they're a bit too feedbacky for me um but so I got a couple of these Gen Hao 82s and um I kind of put it put one together as you know as make it to make it as nuts like as I could and so it's not perfect uh definitely the nuts is more of a yellowy orange color um where I have the vintage yellow copper here or color here but um, I think it turned out well and I really enjoyed writing with this. And in this pen, I used Diamond Earl Grey. They make a very nice color combination, pen and ink combination. And um, I was really happy that at work I could give out some pens. And um, even if those people never come back to the shop and ever buy, you know, 
another pen, <laughs> buy a pen from us. I'm just glad I was able to um, give them their first pen. The next pen I inked up was my Twisby Diamond 580. And um, it's actually, I just inked it up again for the month of August. So this was not the ink for this past month. I actually do not have a swatch of that ink because it was a sample that I got from work, but I used Ferris Wool Press Edward Edwards Gardens and it was okay. I'm not a huge fan of the color, but this is inked up uh, with my other ink that I'm using for this month. And I won't tell you that because I will save it for next month. But yeah, it has a medium nib on it. And uh, this is a pen that I really like. I really enjoy. I'm glad to have that pen. It was a gift to me, as were a lot of my pens. The next pen I inked up, and this is actually uh, my work pen. I wear this pen in my leather sleeve that I made for it. I wear it to work every single day. This is the pen that I let uh, customers try when they are curious about fountain pens, especially curious about Lamy's. And this pen and I have sold uh, almost all almost our let's see five, six, uh, four I have four left four of the I think I have two petrol and two um, lilac pens left before I will have sold every single one of the inventory that we got when these came out um, it's just when people try out these pens I mean they just kind of fall in love with them and so this is the Lamy All-Star, the limited edition, I think it was petrol color. And I have a fine nib on it. And usually I prefer a medium nib on my Lamy's, but um, I know that uh, a lot of new fountain pen writers prefer a fine nib. So I put a fine nib on here so that when customers would try this out, um, it would already have a nib on there that they would be comfortable with. And I inked it up with, I always have it inked up with Birmingham Pen Company's Boiler Steam because they make a really great combination. Um, this is, this is such a, it's like the perfect ink match, I think, other than the Lamy, actual Lamy Petrol, which I've never had, but I think these are a great, it's a great match for this pen. So this pen will be featured in all of my uh, what I inked videos because it's always inked. As a matter of fact, I need to refill it soon. Oh no, I still have some time. Um, but I go through ink a lot in here because I use it at work all the time. The next pen that I used was my Quebeco Student in Vintage Blue. This was a gift to me and it is a pen that I really, really, really enjoy. Um, I actually like this uh, Caveco student better than I like the Caveco Sport. Um, I like the way it feels. I like the way it feels in my hand. I like the section. Um, I just, I, I really, really enjoy this pen. I like the color and I'm not really a blue person, but I enjoy the color of this pen, the cyan color so much. And I paired it with Pilot Orochizuku. On Peggy and they make a really great combination in fact this is the only ink that I use in this pen and I thoroughly thoroughly enjoy the combination the next pen that I inked up was my Lamy Sabari in Savannah I have a fine nib on here this is my only Lamy fine nib that writes differently than what it's uh, supposed to be this fine nib writes like a medium actually actually it writes like a broad um, and I don't know why it's been that way since it came to me since I bought it new but it um, I still enjoy writing with it I've never considered changing the nib I just enjoy it and I paired it with Diamine Safari I think they make a really nice combination a very enjoyable combination very enjoyable pen to write with I really enjoy all my lamies. 
The next pen I inked up was, again, I'm pulling back another one. I wrote my Nebulous Plume Dry from the Peppermint Drop, and then I actually filled it up again, and this time I used Pilot Arusha Zukufu Yugaki to match that orange in there. And I did really enjoy using this ink in this pen. It was a lot of fun, very bright, and it was fun to match. It's been really fun to match different colors, the different colors that are present in this pen. Um, I just feel like there's so many different color combinations uh, that I have so many colors to choose from, and I'm just having a really good time trying a different ink combination every time. So Fuyugaki was a lot of fun in here, and um, yeah, I'm just really enjoying this pen too. So I'll put that down, but it will be back. The next pen I inked up for the month of July was, and this was a new pen to me. I got this pen on July 12th. It was an early birthday gift to myself. What happened was that in the shop that I work at at Anamoya, um, we actually thought we had lost this pen. I checked in the system and we had a botanical garden in 1.1 stub and we had but we had two boxes we only had one pen on display so we had two boxes one set of botanical garden in medium and the other one was 1.1 stub we couldn't find the medium and so we were freaking out like oh my gosh did someone steal this pen uh it was it was an ordeal and then i ended up finding the pen um in another esterbrook box that we had in, in a different pen drawer. It shouldn't have been in there, but it was. And then I had this sort of manic episode thing or manic reaction. Um, and this was back when I actually was going through the hypomania. I literally had a very, very within 30 seconds after finding it, decided that I was going to buy it immediately because in my mind, it was a medium nib and if I didn't buy it, someone else was gonna get it and then I would, you know, be, even though I didn't even know we had this pen. Once we, once I found out we had it, then I felt like I needed it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but I like it. I'm glad that I have it and added it to my collection. Um, I've enjoyed writing with it and I do not have a swatch of this color cause it was from work. It was a, a sample from work. But I used um, Fiercel Press Autumn in Auburn and I tried to use it to match the little flecks of gold and yellow in there. And um, this is the second time I used Autumn in Auburn and I'm just not a fan of it in general. I'm just not a fan of that ink. I thought, oh, it's got a little bit of water coming out of it because I just washed it out. Oh, look at that. I'm making a mess on myself. Oh gosh, maybe I didn't wash it well enough. Um, this pen comes back and you can see now that that's not Autumn and Auburn. It's totally a different ink, but yeah, so that was fun to write with and I'm enjoying it as I enjoy all of my Esterbrook pens. The next pen I inked up and used, oh, was my beloved, beloved Esterbrook in Rainforest. This is just I just, I can't get over how much I love my Esterbrook pens. Um, they're just so fun and so happy and they write so well. This is a medium nib and they're just so, I just really enjoy using them so much. Um, eventually when the budget allows, I would like to get a honeycomb. I'd like to get a sea glass and I'm really curious if Esterbrook has any new ones they're going to be releasing this year because I'll have to save up. Um, and as usual, this pen, I only use Kayona Oto Kokiiro in it. And it's just, look at that. They're the perfect combination. And they are so enjoyable to write with. I absolutely love them. Excellent combination. I love it. I can't, like, I, I use all of my Esterbrooks every single month. I feel like they show up in my pen, pens that I inked up every month. The next pen I inked up, let me turn my page real quick. Okay, the next pen I inked up was my, ta-da, Esterbrook SD in Scarlet. 
and um, this was my very first Estabrook SD. It's in a medium nib. And this was my gateway drug to Estabrook SDs. This was the one that started it all. And I inked it with Pilot Orochizuku Yamabuto because I think they are absolutely perfect together. They make a beautiful combination. And since I, I when I first got this ink or pen, I tried it out with several different inks. and just could not find one that I loved in it until I tried Yamabuto and now nothing can separate these two inks in my opinion. Nothing. Off to the side for you. Now the next pen I inked coming back again was I wrote the Botanical Garden Dry from the Autumn and Auburn and then the next ink I used in here um, I don't have a sample for, or I don't have a swatch for either because it was just a sample but I used Twinkling Tea Party um, from Ferrisville Press at work. And I, it was okay. I didn't, I was trying to match the green. I didn't love the combination. Um, I still haven't found a comb, I, I still haven't found an ink that I absolutely love in here yet, but I'm sure I will. And just take a little bit more time, a little bit more experimentation. But I wrote Twinkling Tea Party Dry and so I had two fills in this pen for the month of July. The next pen I inked up was my Pilot Decimo in light blue. This was also a gift to me by my very generous penefactor. I love this pen. And if you watched my video on this pen before, you know that I use Twisby Blue Black, but I call it my Prussian Blue. And, um... Yeah, it, they're just a wonderful combination. I love the two of them together. This is an unusual color for me to, you know, to use for me to enjoy because um, I usually prefer more saturated, brighter colors. But in this pen, they just, I don't know, they make me feel very grown up, if that makes any sense. I don't know. I don't know, but I really enjoy the combination and I really enjoy using that pen. The next pen I inked up, we are bringing back the Nebulous Plume again. It was, so I inked this pen up three times in the month of June. So I inked it up, wrote it dry three times, and I have already inked it up again for the month of August. But this time I inked it up with Pilot Orochizuku Shinryoku. I was going again searching for searching for a, a green among the green that I greens that I have and it was pretty in here it wrote nicely but it didn't match it like exact exactly as I wanted to um, but it was nice to write with I enjoy Shinryoku and so it was just nice to nice to write with it in a broad nib I've really enjoyed writing with all the inks that I've put in here in this broad nib it's been a lot of fun seeing um, the inks uh, the ones that had shimmer in them, being able to see the shimmer when I write with them. And like I said, I've just really been enjoying this pen, you know, since I got it. And for the amount of money that I paid for this pen, I'm going to be using this pen. It's going to be inked up for a very, 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 very long time. And I will probably be buried with it. Yeah, that's how I feel about this pen. <laughs> All right, the next pen I inked up, I'm bringing back another one was again my Esterbrook SD in Rainforest and I, I wrote it dry of Coquiero and then I again filled it up with Coquiero again and I've written it completely dry again and washed it out and it is ready to be probably used again this month for the month of August because I can't I just can't not use my Esterbrooks I love them all so much. They're just, I just, they, they just bring me so much joy. And I'm really glad and really lucky that I have pens that bring me that joy that I can write with. And I have so many to choose from. A lot of people who are in this hobby, they don't have so many pens to choose from, but their pens that they do have bring them joy. And I think that's the most important thing. 
So out of all these pens, I uh, wrote all of them dry. Well, this one's not dry anymore because it's inked up for the month of August. But I used multiple times the rainforest and my nebulous plume and my botanical garden. Um, yeah, so this is my collection of pens that I used for the month of July with all these different inks. And uh, I really enjoyed all of my pens. Really enjoy using all of my pens for journaling. A lot of people ask me how I can write pens dry so, you know, so fast. And it's because I journal. I wake up, uh, before I go to work, I wake up about three hours early. And I do what I gotta do in the morning to get ready for work. And then I will spend about two to two and a half hours just journaling. Um, I have a lot on my mind all the time and uh, it's just it's a it's an obsessive compulsive thing as well um, it's been kind of a struggle when I'm at work so I can't like sit down and journal so when I get home from work I sit down and I journal as well um, so that's kind of how I write them dry so fast so for the month of August, it was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 pens that I wrote dry. I hope you have enjoyed this little video. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all of your support on this channel. I recently hit 10,000 subscribers and I am just blown away. Um, I did a video about a, um, a sale that we were doing at Anna Moya on Ferris Wool Press Inks. And I posted that and a couple of you took advantage of the sale. And um, for some computer reasons, uh, the link, or not the link, but the coupon code stopped working. So we are fixing, <laughs> we're fixing that issue and I will be posting another video soon with another coupon code link that you can use for all of our Ferris Wool Press items. We are gonna be doing a buy one, get one on the Ferris Wool Press brush pen. So if you buy a Ferris Wool Press brush pen and you use the coupon code I give you, um, you'll be able to get a free bottle of ink. And then we have some more uh, coupon codes for uh, the other bottles, you know, bottles of ink that you can get as well. Um, so really great sales coming up. So keep on the lookout for that. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you have any comments for me leave them down below and otherwise i just wish you all awesomeness and greatness and thanks for supporting me on this channel